My name is Kishwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I. Kishwani. Today we'll have our 86th lesson in our vocabulary words series. Vocabulary words. Day number 86. Let's begin. The words that we're going to learn today, all the words that we're going to learn today, they all have to do with being a tiny amount, a small amount, very, very tiny amount, not enough, not adequate, not sufficient, tiny amount, scarcity, shortage. Let's, let's get going, shall we? 452 is where we start with, and the very first word we're going to learn today is dearth. Nothing to it, just the way it sounds, just the way it's written, dearth. As we said, they all have to do with scarcity and shortage. So that's what this word means. Third means scarcity, shortage. If you have a shortage of something, if you have a scarcity of something, you have a dearth of it. There might be dearth of talent. We have shortage of talent. We cannot find enough talented people for, for our company. We have three openings. We've been looking for somebody for these three openings for, for over a month now. We cannot find a suitable candidate because there seems to be a dearth of talent. It means lack of. Lack of talent, dearth of talent, shortage of talent, scarcity of talent, shortage, short supply. You get the idea. Lack of. The scarcity, of course, as you know, is the noun of scarce. You may talk about dearth of information dearth of information. Not too much information comes out of North Korea. There is a dearth of information because of the control that they have over there. You might talk about dearth of fresh fruit. We have dearth of fresh fruits in the market. There is a dearth of talent as I said. It could be anything. Let's learn the next one. The next part we're going to learn is Po so, po, so, ti, paucity. Paucity again means short supply, small quantity, fewness. It means the exact same thing as these words. These are synonyms. They mean the exact same thing. For example, you might say Japan. Japan has, I'm not going to write all of that down. Japan has paucity of, what do you suppose Japan has paucity of? Talent? Education? Of course not. Japan has paucity of natural resources. Japan has very few natural resources despite the fact that they have very high standard of living. Actually not despite the fact. Uh, despite the fact that they have despite the fact they have paucity of natural resources they are very talented people and therefore they maintain a very high standard of living. Despite the fact that they have paucity of natural resources. Scarcity of natural resources, shortage of natural resources, they both mean the same thing. Japan has paucity of natural resources. Let's move on. Let's learn one more. The next word we're going to learn is modicum. Mod e cum. Modicum. A small amount, a small quantity. A small amount, a small quantity. A small amount or a small quantity is said to be modicum. There, yes, I do admit, I do admit, there is a modicum of insanity in my family. Do you understand? There is a modicum of insanity. There is a little bit of insanity in my family. Or if somebody is telling you some story, if somebody is telling you some story, at which point you might get upset because you know it's all, it's all uh, lies, it's just fabricating a story, you might get upset and you might say to the person in a very harsh tone, is there even a modicum of truth in what you just told me? Is there even a modicum of truth? Modicum of truth. Modicum of truth. That's how that's the idiom. The idiom is modicum of. Modicum of insanity. Yes, I do admit there is a modicum of insanity in my family. Is there even a modicum of truth 
in what you just told me? Is there even a little bit of truth in what you just told me? Or is it all 100% lies? You understand? Let's move on. As I said, they all have to do with the same thing. Small amount, trace amount, small amount, trace amount. The next word we're going to learn is... Centella. Sim. Till. Oh, it's also a noun. It's also a noun. Modicum was a noun. Paucity is a noun. Dirt is a noun. They are all noun. Hence, hence, uh, hence the question: Is there even a modicum? Is there even a modicum of truth in your story? It's a noun. A something. You understand? There seems to be a paucity of talent, a paucity of talent in this town. Centella. Again, it means a small amount, a trace amount. A small amount, a trace quantity. A small amount, a minute amount. A small amount, a minute amount. Where can we put it? Well, that's about it. A small amount, minute amount, a trace amount. Uh, trace amount. We need the room obviously, we need to raise it now. Let's move on. So one more time, what does centella mean? It means, it means a small amount. A small amount. A minute amount a minute amount a trace a trace on trace of something next thing we're gonna what next thing we want to do is learn these two words let's begin with trace trace it has two meanings it has two meanings and you'll have to figure out from the context how the word is being used Word meaning we already saw a trace amount means a small amount, a trace of something. It's a noun, a trace of something. Well, I shouldn't say it's a noun. When it is used as a noun, when it is used as a noun, it means a small amount. A small amount. Something that is something that is barely noticeable. Such a tiny 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 amount. It is barely noticeable. It is barely perceptible. Perceptible. It is barely noticeable. It is barely perceptible. It is barely observable. Let's erase all of this thing. We need the room. It is barely observable. Observable. So that's the first meaning, trace amount. People say, and I do not know this for a fact, but I have heard, I have heard people say that if you were to pick up any US $100 bill, any, any $100 bills in the US, any $100 bill, they say that you're bound to find trace amount of cocaine on it. Because apparently the drug dealers, they prefer to deal with large bills and you're bound to find some trace amount of cocaine if you were to pick up any $100 bill, trace amount, amount so tiny that it is barely noticeable. It might not even be noticeable with naked eyes, but it is there, trace amount, small amount. That's the noun. What does the word mean if you use other verb? What does it mean to trace? Well, you know what it means to trace, to, to make an outline of something, to trace it, to delineate, to delineate or sketch a figure to trace for example for example I might take a picture and trace it uh, let's see if I can find something interesting to trace it you know you you trace something you pick up something and you trace the figure of it uh, and that's called tracing you understand? What can I trace here? 
here's my calculator. I'm going to trace. I'm going to trace it. Trace. So that's the second meaning as a verb. Let's move on. The next word we want to learn is again a simple word. I'm going to erase all of this thing because we need the room. So that's one meaning of the trace, to make an outline of it. It also means to follow someone or to follow somebody's step. They might, the police might try to trace the, the, the path of, a, of the bad guy. They, they, they try to trace him, see where he is, to locate him. The next word is this one right here. Again, it's a very simple word. Again, the first pronunciation, of course, you already know. The first meaning you already know. We're not going to waste time on that. It's, it's minute. There are 60 minutes and an hour. Minute. And the second pronunciation is minute, minute and minute. Minute means small amount, small amount, minute details, paying attention to minute details means you pay attention to small details, tiny details, they are very meticulous. Let's move on. The next word we want to learn is scant. S K A N T. Scant. It's, a, it's an adjective, it's not a noun. Scant means meager. 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 Small amount. Something that is inadequate. At the moment, at the moment, we have scant details. We have scant details. We just have a little bit of details as to what's what's going on over there. At the moment, we have scant details. We were given, we were given scant amount of resources for the project. We were given very limited amount of resources, scant amount of resources. Last what we're going to learn is minuscule. Min a skule. Minuscule. Minuscule means tiny, small, meager, scant. Not enough. Tiny. They say all of this thing here. They are, they are synonym. Minuscule and scant and minute. Tiny amount. Small amount. Not enough. Not adequate. That's it for today. Bye now.